Hi, we're back with Gary Germer from Gary Germer & Associates. Thanks for being here. Oh, love it. We're talking about art and designing your house with art, trying to find something that may not necessarily be in a great frame or may not be the best art. How do you meet in the middle somewhere? Right, and get a really good deal if you're out looking around. Right, like this. You might think it's junk. I think it's beautiful. I think it's wonderful. This is a wonderful Victorian frame. And what's nice about a frame like this and some of the others is you can, if, if you're going out and mix and match, you can put a mirror in there, you can get a picture of your uh, grandfather or your father and have it blown up and fit in and make family portrait. Makes a wonderful uh, decorating thing to have a whole bunch of different types of frames together like that. So you say that there is bad art in good frames and good frame and bad art. Well, when you, you're looking. Well, you're when out. you're out, if you're out scouting like I do and you're out going to estate sales or thrift shops or your grandma's attic when she's not home. <laughs> what you're looking for, if you want a great deal, is you want to find a bad art in a really cool frame. And this is a good example of this. And you can get a good deal, hopefully get a good deal on the frame because they're looking at this and this print is all faded and it's a Charles Russell print, but it's faded and it's... It's, it's gay, missing it's, color. <laughs> yeah, but the, but the frame is great. Somebody handmade that with rawhide and barn board and it would be great then to take it, get it home, take it out, put your own Western print in it or a painting or something like that. So oftentimes you can get really great deals, whether it's a big frame, small frame. If the art's bad, people tend to see the surface. So they see the bad art, that's what they're selling you. You've got the great frame. You're looking beyond it. And you're getting a deal. And you're get, hopefully getting a great deal on that because you're buying, buying the bad with the good. The opposite is a piece like this, which you have a good piece of art in a really bad frame. Somebody, yes. Somebody <laughs> cracked it, and cracked and beat up, and it's an, and, it, and they never even actually put it in here correctly. But it's a nice original um, uh, etching that uh, from actually I found out later. It's a Seattle artist, two bucks, found it because it looks like this beat up, dirty thing in the back of the of the garage. And she's a very collected Seattle artist, and I was really delighted to get it. So you reframe it, and you have a, this beautiful piece of art. I'm going to find a neat, perfect frame for it, and I, and and I think it's great. You say there's one thing that if you're looking for art that you shouldn't go shopping without. What is that? Well, it's this. It's a magnifying glass, and you should get a ten, basically a ten power. You can get a loop. You can get just a regular little magnifying glass. Any dealer, any uh, uh, buddy who's really seriously about it will always have this on them. This is your right arm because you really need to see what it is you're looking at. So if you were to look at this painting, what, what would you see through that magnifying glass? Well, at first glance, it's a wonderful look. It looks like the lost Monet, you know, that somebody <laughs> sure. lost. And it's a great frame and fun. But you might wonder, gee, you know, you, what you want to do is look at it under magnification, and what you'll find is that this, along with like the Charles Russell print and a lot of prints, it's a bunch of little dots. It's a whole bunch of different colored dots. It's a, called a three color dot separation, photomechanically reproduced print. And they do them on textured canvases like this. And they That's look, why you think you're seeing brush strokes. Exactly. But you're not. It has, it looks like brush strokes, it looks from a distance, it's a great look. But it's a photo mechanically, it's not good dyes, it's not a good, after, after 10, 20 years, it's going to fade right. and it's going to turn kind of washed out like our poor cowboy did. But being sold for what it is, if you don't have the two million for the original, you know, for a hundred bucks you can have a really nice frame, you know, in, in a decorator shop. And if you find it in a state sale, just be sure you're buying it for what it really is. Right. So just do a little education and, and you'll get yourself a great deal. Absolutely. All right. And if you'd like to contact Gary, just go to our website. It's FusionNW.com.